From Thomas Edison's prototype light bulb that served as the pattern for the vacuum tube, to Thaddeus Cahill's generators which created music and telephone lines, to Lee DeForest's Audion amplifier tube, which it was found could create electronic tones. The oscillator was the origin of the revolution that became electronic music. From the heterodyning oscillators of Leon Theremin's theremin, to the tube oscillators of the Nova Chord and of the RCA Mark II, right up to the point where Robert Moog showed Herbert Deutsch how one oscillator's voltage could affect another oscillator's frequency, the oscillator is the core of synthesis. I'm going to show you how the oscillator works within the context of synthesis by demonstrating the functionality of a number of different analog and digital synthesizers. We're going to explore the functionality that is usually applied to the oscillator and how that functionality can be used in regard to synthesis. We're going to explore the oscillator applications of vintage synthesizers like the Mini Moog, ARP 2600, and Yamaha CS15, hybrid synthesizers like the ESQ1, modern synthesizers like the Moog Voyager, and even software like Reason. All of these synthesizers are going to show you exactly how the oscillator is intended to work within the framework of the synthesizer. Let's take a look at the electronic component that gave rise to electronic music, inspired engineers and composers throughout the 20th century, and ultimately led to the creation of the synthesizer. <laughs> 